Okay, so anyhow, these 10 minute segments are never actually quite long enough. Guys, and of course, I always get sidetracked. It's not so much about me. The main reason I had intended this whole thing was because I realized how depressed I am and have been. I've shared with so many of you. I was contemplating the inevitable, the whole suicide thing. And I've got no shame in that, none, because you Bible thumpers can place all you want on being judgmental and suicide thing. You know nothing of my walk in life or my journey, so don't judge me. And I can rest in the day and forgive myself. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience, and so are you. Your belief's just a little bit different than mine. It's all. I'm an eternal, conscious, energetic being, and my soul will eternally live on. That's it. There's no judgment in suicide. None. And if you had more guns, you would contemplate it too. However, I am still holding on. That's why everything I share is important, because... I do it from the heart, first off. Um, secondly, this is to all my fellow depressives. I have been in cardiac depressive for at least, if not more than, 21 years. Most of that was more of picking the wrong asshole to be with in life. Brought me down. But yes, even now, I struggle with depression. That's more because the more girls. Okay, plus, I'm somebody with a back to simple which has been a great, very depressing top of my life, <laughs> okay? Um, but because of that reason, I reach out to the rest of you because I am, just by nature, a compassionate being, a very heartfelt, very, very deeply compassionate being, and a lot of people don't get me for that. And even now, I find that to be a deep, deep, deep hard struggle. Maybe this explains it all for you. I am a Scorpio. Not only am I a Scorpio, I'm an Imjana. And I've got a huge part. And I'm so misunderstood. But I love, and my love runs deep. So much deeper than you know. So much more than I think this world is prepared for. I care about people so much that they don't care enough back. And I'm the one, at the end of the day, that's part for that. Because I love too much. Who would ever thought that'd be a big downfall, right? But it is. And it hurts. It hurts so much. I'm the one that always hurt people. So I, trust me when I say I love and care about each and every one of you. I may not know you, but I do care. I always will. You know, whether you all realize it or not, we're all interconnected. Yes, I, I care so much. This is why this message, and this, I'm doing things and thinking about my own personal struggles. Sometimes it may not appear that I care about the rest of you so much. It's all about me. Yeah, it is. Because I've got so much to deal with on my plate. And it's just me to handle it all. Along with the more gallons as well. So any of you would feel that way. But, you know, I'm sitting here trying to get my Christmas here, guys. And, you know, I'm seeing about the rest of you that are depressed, too, because I know there's a lot of you. Even on my thing app, you know how many encounters I've had with youngsters that, like, slice and dice on themselves? They're cutters. I've had people in my family, too, that are cutters. I won't mention names. There's a couple very near and dear to me. Um, but it makes you realize how much this affects people. It's not just me. So the depression is a big factor within a lot of people, even a lot of celebs. Okay? And you all know, I've told you guys, I've, I found it really hard to get out of bed and keep on going or find motivation to do anything, if you will. I've got nobody left around me aside from my two children. I've got my oldest one, six and a half a baby, and my youngest, which just uh, her and her, uh, her dad just got an apartment together. And then my ex just left me completely out of town to go move in with my middle daughter. So 
I don't have anybody like here to support me. I don't. It's just me, honey. It's just me. I don't give on or rely on anybody else for happiness. It is me I turn to. That's why my sing app is so important. Sometimes, yeah, I'm the great entertainer. But, you know, I've done entertaining as a position in my life, too, which I'm not proud of. That's on a whole other level. But I've got a little bit of practice at getting on the stage and doing things I don't want to do. So can I find a reason to smile and to share my smile with the rest of you and to help you smile? Yes, I can. And it brings me great joy as long as I can bring you and I both happiness. So as I said, the depression. Don't ever put your happiness in somebody else's hands, first off, ever. Your happiness is your responsibility. It comes from within you. Always. You look outside yourself and think you need somebody else to fulfill or complete that. No, you don't. No, you don't. I can promise you that. Relationships usually bring a struggle. You usually bring you down. Matter of fact, you and only you can bring or guarantee your happiness in life. Don't give that away to anybody else. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. So that said, you know, me feeling unmotivated, depressed, yada, yada, yada. Well, I want to share with you guys. You know, I did pull myself up out of the damn bed. Between all the stuff I have for inspection, I've been out in the cold, working, rearranging the yard, shed, something got into the shed. Got some damage. I, I told the landlord a long time ago that the yard floods out and it's creating damage. Well, now something has gotten in the shed and it's shitting. Actually, two things. I think it's mouse, rats, and possums, maybe. One or two of the three. <laughs> anyway, it's shitting all of my stuff. So I've had to yank my stuff from that shed. I don't dare address it, it, it with the landlord just yet. We have this reinspection come Monday, 9 30. She passed, then I'll worry about all that. Right now, I just want to get through the reinspection because also I saw the ass. I think the ass were coming back, yes. So that's going to be another whore in itself that he doesn't want to contend with. All these things have to be addressed. I just need a place to live right now. I need to sure a place to live. Um, I just need to pass this reinspection. So I'll get to that point when it comes. But anyhow, God, where was I at? I go losing my train of thought again. Oh, you depress this. I want to show you this because if I can do this despite my morgels, my life, and all my issues, and just having went through a recent, I won't say heartbreak, I really didn't get to know him well enough to break my heart, I knew better. Okay, but that said, let's keep it simple, is that if I can do this, despite everything I'm going through and being very much alone, and I want to reach out to you, especially you senior citizens, veterans, anybody like me afflicted with more gallons. Okay, if you're finding it hard to get the Christmas spirit, guys, let me share with you, I'm doing it. I'm getting my ass up. I'm mastering my emotions, and I'm pulling through this shit. I, I'm going to show you my half-ass tree. Okay? I just want to show you I'm doing. And if I, I actually have outside stuff plugged into, not a whole lot. Just a little bit. <laughs> I don't push myself overboard. But I want to show you I am trying. If I can, you can too. I, I can only hope to inspire you. So here's my tree that's still me slapping. I'll show you the end result later. Mind you, it was in the storage shed and got shit on, so I had to throw off some shit. <laughs> now I know that sounds disgusting, but you know, I'm poor people. I can't run out and just buy another one. So I cleaned it off, I disinfected, sprayed it, I did what I had to do. And I'm fluffing it. I still got to put ornaments on. I went out and spent my last few dollars to get a teardrop wreath. I thought these colors were beautiful. And I've got a little chase. Last thing for the phone goes off here. I'm running out of time. My little fiber optic tree is fully decorated. It even has a little star on it, or uh, angel on the top. Guy, I've got my poinsettia. I've got stockings on. Uh, you know, I've got a few outside decorations. No, overall, oh, I've got another inside one here. I've got a few actually. You won't see them all right here, but there's one. You know, overall, I'm doing pretty good for depressive. So hopefully you guys can find inspiration in that. Get your mojo going. You know what I mean? I, I just, I don't want anybody to suffer. 
Honestly, I don't. I want you to find happiness.